Tonight, blood donations denied. The nation faces a critical shortage as states across the country are reopening after the pandemic. But there is one group of people who say they are still having to jump through hurdles in order to donate blood. What is holding back where a man who's having sex with another man, um, protective sex, has a partner, has a relationship, gets tested regularly, and wants to go donate blood and save a life? Gay and bisexual men say they cannot just walk into a donation center anytime they want and give blood. KCRE 3's Melanie Wingo has a look at the steps to make it easier for this group to help save lives. In the middle of what's considered a serious blood supply shortage in the United States, there's a segment of the population not able to simply walk into a donation center and give blood. Gay men and bisexual men or men who have sex with other men have been wanting to donate blood. We want to be part of saving lives. Despite major advancements in the study, understanding and treatment of people with HIV and AIDS and rigorous testing of all blood units donated, men having sex with other men are turned away from donating blood for a period of three months following their most recent sexual contact with another man. To isolate a community that wants to help is again stigmatizing the queer gay community. There is no reason today to have these barriers. The three month deferral time in effect since April of 2020 is relatively short when you consider the history of deferrals for men having sex with other men. Back in 2015, the deferral time was a full year. And prior to that, in the mid 1980s, there was an indefinite deferral time for men having sex with other men who wanted to donate blood. A research project now underway looks at whether donor history questionnaires and the FDA rules that dictate who can be blood donors should be rethought. We want everybody to get the equal chance to be a potential donor. And the only way that you can actually achieve that is by making sure, again, that you don't use classes or labels to define each individual. Dr. Brian Custer of Vitalant Research Institute is a lead investigator on the ADVANCE study, a collaborative research project with the American Red Cross and One Blood, funded by the FDA. The study's goal, evaluating alternatives to the FDA's blood donor deferral policy for men having sex with men. Instead of immediately deferring a donation by a person in that category, that person's individual risk factors will be assessed. Let's say you are in a stable monogamous relationship and you've had one sexual partner. Should that exclude you from donation? This study is intended to answer that question. The study will gather data on 18 to 39 year olds in eight communities across the United States. If we can collect data where still people are asked questions, but they're asked questions not based on their class, meaning who they are, um, mm -hmm. but their individual sets of risks, then we're all better off. For members of the LGBTQ plus community, the ability to make a life-saving donation with ease, something they hope results from taking a closer look at how things have been done for decades. We are losing so much blood that can go back into community and save so many lives. So I hope to see in my lifetime where I can donate blood. Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. The advanced study will gather data over the next year. Researchers will then submit those findings to the FDA for review and for a decision on the next step.